Our Malshi has a lovable family driven and adorably playful temperament. Are you interested in Malshi dogs? Commonly known as Maltese Shih Tzus. Or maybe you just love dogs? Either way. We have put together a comprehensive list of what we see as our Malshi dog's temperament. There are 15 points and a ton of very cute Malshi dog clips to keep you entertained along the way. And just before we start, please consider subscribing for notifications of our weekly videos. It would be greatly appreciated. So let's get started. Number 1. Attachment and Attention Seeking Behavior Our Malshi dog loves the family environment. She is the happiest when the family is together as a whole unit. She will even try to bring the family together if one person is out of place, she will run over to them and then slowly lead them to the family. If she isn't sleepy at the time our Malshi will go seek attention from family members, she often moves on to the next person if she stops receiving the attention she's asking for. And next is, alertness. She is rather alert, at home, and while on walks she is normally aware of what is happening. A part of this is due to wanting to protect the family unit and other times she just wants to go play with other dogs she might see. Our Malshi dog will always know before us that someone's outside the house. Number 3 is their level of playfulness. Our Malshi dog will always jump at the chance to join in and play a game. If she thinks family members or other pets are playing some form of a game she will want to get involved. She has a strong chasing instinct, she will run after balls, other dogs that are running, and any wildlife that happens to land on our property. Dog aggression is number 4. Our Malshi dog can appear to be aggressive at times but she is all bark and no bite. With young excitable puppies or large aggressive dogs, our Malshi dog can sometimes growl to warn off the other dog. Wookie dog has never attacked another dog, I don't believe she ever will and she has never fought back when being attacked. And number 5 in our temperament list is dog fear. As I've said before, our Malshi dog has unfortunately been bullied by larger dogs on a number of occasions cementing a fear into her personality. Her temperament before this was not fearful but more submissive. She would commonly introduce herself to other dogs by being submissive and rolling over as they approached, which is also a common puppy behavior. After the initial encounter, she would then be excited to interact with the other dog. With other dogs of similar size, Wookie Dog is more relaxed, she can be a bit apprehensive of the initial encounter but once introduced to another dog she will settle. And in sixth place is Dog Rivalry. Wookie Dog is rather competitive, she will want to run faster and outplay other dogs. She will also get upset if another dog is receiving attention from us. We have started to train her not to react by rewarding her after such interactions. Energy is up next. And if you've seen any of our other videos you would know that Wookie Dog has a high energy level for her size but it can be short-lived. During playtime she is more than willing to keep pushing, running faster, playing harder, even after it's obvious that she is totally worn out. She can easily go for a one-hour walk on a cool day and will keep up a good consistent pace. Number 8 in our temperament list is excitability. At the start of a walk, our Malshi dog can get overexcited. We actively calm her and lead her away from interacting with other dogs for the first few minutes of a walk. The level of excitement is totally manageable. We just don't allow it during walks to keep her from developing improper walking behavior. After a bath or during playtime at home she can get hyperactive, we have fun with this and encourage it as a fun time reward for good behavior during grooming. Coming in at number 9 in our Malshi dog temperament list is non-social fear. Our Wookie dog is adventurous and has no fear of heights, jumping up, or walking over new surfaces. She enjoys exploring new places, we even take her kayaking which she loves. She does have a significant fear of noises that she doesn't understand, so maybe a cement mixer in the distance could upset her or the noise of skateboards seem to set her off. She never gets aggressive, her reaction is to protect herself by running away or hiding. Number 10 in our temperament list is, owner aggression. Malshi dogs live for the family unit. Wookie dog has never been aggressive towards us and if she accidentally hurts us during a rough game she will be visibly upset by it. I couldn't imagine aggression towards an owner ever happening with a Malshi unless they have mistreated the dog. And the 11th temperament in the list is separation problems. With Malshi dogs commonly forming strong bonds with their owners, separation anxiety is likely to form. Our Wookie dog will wait at the front of the house when we leave, she will stay in a viewing position for hours looking for us and will come to say hello the second we open the front door. She is affected by separation anxiety, if one owner is away for the day and it's not the normal routine she will whine showing how upset she is. 
But she always settles down in a position to watch the owner return, she isn't totally unconsolable or frantically desperate to escape the house. So yes male she dogs do get separation anxiety but it's manageable. Number 12 in our male she temperament list is. Stranger aggression. We have never witnessed our male she dog displaying any form of aggression towards a stranger when out of the house during a walk. She is defensive of the home and will actively bark, or try to bail up strangers entering the property. She is not aggressive to the point of attacking, she always stays a safe distance away if she thinks the stranger is truly bad, otherwise she'll stay close and quickly changes the barking behavior to a quick sneaky licking of the ankles to say hello. And all the way at number 13 is stranger fear. While on a walk, our Wookiee dog tends to be fearful of strangers at first. Typically with women, she is more likely to want to say hello and ask for pats. With men, she is more likely to stay away and for whatever reason, she will be very fearful of some men at times. Number 14 and our second last male she temperament is. Touch sensitivity. Our male she dog loves cuddles. She wants to be held, to be patted, and to get scratches. She's a wonderful lap dog, just the enjoyment from being close to us is evident. She will often lay at your feet or lay down beside us, leaning against us seems to settle her. She isn't too fond of us touching her feet, we play games holding her feet, so maybe we have played a part in forming this sensitivity. Number 15 and the last male she temperament is. Trainability. Training our male she to do everyday tasks has been easy, toilet training and behavioral training has always yielded results depending on the level of effort we put in. They can get easily distracted though, are rather stubborn but they do love treats and want to please us so that makes training possible. And that's our take on the Malshi dog's temperament, it is truly adorable. Until next time have a great day and please consider subscribing for notifications of our weekly videos.